Prince Philip looked as fit as ever today as he walked to and from church with other members of the royal family as Sandringham and cracked jokes with well-wishers. Philip, 96, appeared in high spirits as he spotted American mother of two Heather Hudgens in the crowd, holding her three-month-old daughter Abby who had a decorative green bow on her head. Members of the crowd burst out laughing as Philip quipped, ''Is it a baby? I thought it was a bunch of flowers.'' Mrs Hudgens from Florida who is with her U.S. serviceman husband Stephen and is based at Raff Lake in Heth, Suffolk, said, ''It was nice that he picked us out. He obviously has a sense of humor. A crowd of around 350 people were delighted to see Philip briskly walking 400 yards to St. Mary Magdalene Church while the Queen was driven in her maroon-coloured Bentley accompanied by Sophie Countess of Wessex. Scroll down for video wearing his trademark brown overcoat. Philip led a procession of royals on the walk from Sandringham House as he chatted to Prince Andrew. Andrew's daughters Beatrice and Eugenie followed behind with Prince Edward and his daughter Lady Louise, the Princess Royal and her husband Sir Tim Lawrence, and Peter Phillips and wife Autumn. Beatrice, 29, opted for a seasonal color, wearing a plum-colored knee-length coat with platform-heeled sandals. The young royal smart wrap overcoat was perfect for the festive event and came with an occasion wear price tag £1,995. The 29-year-old royal finished the look with a crocodile-skin black clutch bag with gold clasp. On her head was a black velvet cocktail hat by London-based milliner Julia Botterill. Meanwhile, younger sister Princess Eugenie wore a navy bow headpiece by milliner Sarah Kent. The 27-year-old looked chic in a steel grey coat and heels. The service included traditional carols such as Once in Royal David's City, O Little Town of Bethlehem, Away in the Manger, When Shepherds Watch Their Flocks by Night and Hark the Herald Angels Sing. The Queen who wearing an ice blue outfit with matching head and black gloves walked down the church steps after the service with Sandringham Rector, the Reverend Jonathan Rivery. Her daughter-in-law Sophie paused to collect flowers from a small girl and handed them to the Queen before they got back into the car. Susie Allen of nearby Dursingham who was in the crowd said, I think Prince Philip looked extremely well. He appeared to be in excellent health. It is remarkable when you think of his age. Some members of the crowd expressed disappointment that they did not get to see Prince Harry's US actress fiancé Meghan Markle. But Meghan and Harry, along with the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and their children Prince George and Princess Charlotte are expected to walk to Sandringham Church tomorrow morning for the Christmas Day service. Royal Watcher Alan Moten, 58, 
who has been in the crowd at Sandringham Church services every Christmas for 40 years said, I was surprised to see Philip walking. He went in the car with the Queen last year when they were both recovering from heavy colds. But this year he looks more sprightly than ever. Prince William and Prince Harry did not turn up to play in an annual football match between Sandringham estate staff and locals at nearby Castle Rising. The brothers had played in the match many times in the last ten years. The 11-a-side match which was watched by a crowd of around 50 locals went ahead in their absence. The brothers last played in the match two years ago, leading to speculation that they had decided to hang up their football boots. While the festive cheer may be in full swing, security was still exceptionally tight at St. Mary Magdalene Church. A line of police officers were seen giving full-body checks to members of the public in the grounds of the Royal Sandringham Estate with one young girl being subjected to airport-style wand security on her shoes. Hundreds of well-wishers had joined the throng outside the church this morning with expectations raised this year that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, who announced their engagement in November, may be in attendance, but they were left disappointed. It was confirmed by Kensington Palace earlier this month that Meghan would join the royal family on Christmas Day. A Kensington Palace spokesman said, you can expect to see the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince Harry and Ms Markle at Sandringham on Christmas Day. Christmas at Sandringham is likely to be the first of many for the American, who will wed Harry on May 19th in St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.